<laughs> Don't go in there, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. I think I can handle it, ma'am. I didn't want to wait. I wanted to find Stucky, to, die, to get the key and get out as soon as possible. The waitress was giving me a headache. Overeager fans always did. Hello? Mr. Stucky? Carl couldn't make it. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Okay. I wish you a good stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. And to meet your wife. I insist. Thanks. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Very inspiring. You got lucky this time, young man. You can hurt the... Even that sounds better than your singing. Are you all right? Splendid, <laughs> splendid. <laughs> Damn funky. It swells up like a balloon if I lift anything heavier than a spoon. Yeah. Splendid, splendid. It's been a long time, Tom. Good to see you. Hey, you wouldn't happen to have a bottle on you, would you, Tom? I wish. The Andersons, they're, uh, local musicians. We're waiting for Dr. Hartman to come pick up. Get off from his clinic at the Cauldron Lake Lodge. Mission accomplished. The key and the directions. My hero. I got some flashlights, just in case. Hey, wait! Mrs. Wake! Your... Your keys! That diner was a real nut house. <laughs> Can you believe this place? This would make a wonderful setting for a book. We're supposed to be on vacation, Alice. I'll figure it out when we get back home. Okay? Okay. We can talk about this later. Batman here on PBF I didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to bury my head in sand. Here's another one of my favorites to go with it. Once upon a time, I was a successful writer. But that was a long time ago. I hadn't been able to write a word in two years. Not since my last book. It's something, all right. Don't worry, honey. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. I know. I'm okay. Alice had a phobia. The fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. Let's take a look inside. It's dark in there. We need light. Can you figure out how to get the power on, honey? Hello? Anyone here?
an old generator had been connected to the power cable. The lights are on! Good work, honey. I'll freshen up a bit and start settling in. Okay, I'll look around a bit. It was a beautiful place. I told myself I could rest here, sleep here, and forget about my work. I thought we could be happy here. The island had once been the site for a love story. Maybe it would be that again. Alice had told me about Cauldron Lake Lodge. The old building used to be a hotel. But these days, it was no longer open to the public. Alice? Honey? Alan, I'm upstairs. Well, hello there. I'm not the surprise. It's in the study. Go take a look. <laughs> okay. Surprise! Alice? What is this? I guess I have a small confession to make. I thought maybe you could write here that a change of scenery would get you past... Damn, Alice, you... Everyone Hey, keeps... hey, hey! Just hear me out! There's a local doctor, Dr. Hartman. I read a book of his. He has a private clinic here. He specializes in helping artists. Maybe so now you want to get me committed? No, it's not like that. That's not... Alan? Alan? I don't, just don't. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. God damn it. I knew she wouldn't follow me in the dark. I needed some time alone to think things through. Damn it. Alice? cabin had gone dark. All the lights were out. Alice! Alice! Where are you? Alice! I'm coming! It's all right! I'm coming! No! What the hell? No! Waking up in the crashed car felt like I had woken from one nightmare and entered another. I couldn't remember how I got there. All I knew was that something terrible had happened to Alice. The phone was dead. I'd have to find help on foot.